Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Juliana. If you're new here, I'm a third year law student in New York. Today's video, I'm going to take you through my Notion setup. Show you all of my pages, my dashboard, and how I set up some of my tables, how I'm organizing my classes. Even though we're like halfway through the semester, I just discovered Notion about a week ago and I'm really liking it. It's definitely something to get used to. It's trial and error. I think right now I've pretty much gotten all of my pages to be how I want them to be. I've also set up my final study schedule on there as well as my bar prep, which I haven't added that study schedule in, but I definitely will. Okay, so if you haven't subscribed, make sure you hit subscribe so you never miss a video and uh, let's get into it. Notion has a bunch of templates and that's really how I started all of my pages. I used a lot of the student templates that they have available. And if you Google Notion templates, you can find people that have posted their own templates and their own dashboards and basically you could just go in and change them but a lot of the blocks that i use for example some of the calendars and tables that you'll see those i got directly from notion so i have my blog content calendar i use their content calendar um the course schedule template i used so if you're struggling, definitely Google and find some templates that people have done and you could just duplicate it and edit them. But it's really just trial and error. You just need to keep trying different templates and seeing what works best for you and how you want to organize your school life or your personal life or your work life. So that's what I did and it hasn't even been a week and it seems like it works for me so far. So I'm going to share everything on my Notion with you guys right now. So let's really get into it. All right. So assuming that you have already went to the Notion website and signed up and got a free student account, I'm going to just jump into how I use Notion every day and go through my pages, give you a little bit of the tour and show you my setup for law school and my blog and just life. And really signing up for Notion is self-explanatory and it's available on the Apple App Store, but mainly I use it on my desktop. So here we go. This is my home dashboard. Up on the left corner here, you can hide this main toggle menu, I guess is what we'll call it, where you can do your quick find there's settings and then this is where all of your pages are now I find it easier to just have the main home page and then have my blog dashboard and law school dashboard connected underneath as sub pages and so let's just go through my home dashboard what I love about this is you can really make it however you want. It's just so aesthetic, like no matter what, you can make it to be you and your vibe. And obviously this is me, <laughs> very pink, sparkly, and yeah, extra. So if you're more minimalist, <laughs> you can obviously do it however you want to do it. So here I made this home icon on Canva and I made this backdrop on Canva as well. And on the left here, I have my daily to do's. I update this as the day goes on. So I'm doing this currently, check that off. And my class for that is over. And then I have another class in a half hour. So, and then I usually put my grocery list in here and send it off to Matt because he does the grocery shopping. I also made this on Canva with my March 2021 overview calendar and my collage that I had for my vision board. Um, some quick links on the sides to go to my law school dashboard and my blog dashboard. And then I have a weekly overview here in the middle of the page. So it's kind of like I set it up as a time blocking situation and my weekly routines. So I have my AM routine here, which I would click on. It says 8.30 AM. If you click on that, it actually 
says this is going to be my weekday morning routine. And I just kind of wrote a, oops, wrote a list of the things that I do every morning. And then if you wanted to add anything, so let's say I'm going to type something as a list or say I want to make not a list and I want to end the list there and move on. You hit the backslash and it brings up a list of things that you can do. Do whatever you want. So you could just click out of that and then I have it on the board view and the cool thing is that for any of these boards or calendars you can switch the views. So I could switch it to a calendar view but see how it's not, there's nothing there. It's because there's no dates affiliated with the blocks that I have here and that's because it's not possible at least there's not something that I've found possible yet to make a reoccurring calendar. So because I have secure transactions Monday and Wednesday, if I put it in the calendar, I would have to individually put it in for every single day, like every single Monday and Wednesday. I didn't have time for that. So I just have it where I put it in through, if you click properties, I organize it course event day, time, and then I don't have the date on there. So if you're going to add, say, another thing, so say Thursday, I want to add in my reading for the day. So once you type in the thing you're going to do, so it's my reading assignment, I'm going to actually click on that. And then you keep the day. The event, I would just still put reading assignment for secure transactions and then the time I manually put in the time. So say I know I'm going to do that at 2 p.m. Then I already have a 2 p.m. in there so I just click it but you can add as many times as you want and then I would leave the date empty because I usually always do my reading in the afternoon like that but as the weeks go on I can always change it up but for now this is going to be this week's weekly overview then moving down the line here I just put my study playlist for easy access to Spotify I will also link that down below and I have a little bit of motivation here 136 days to my Santorini trip oh my god that's crazy means I'll be done with the bar exam in 136 days, which is actually terrifying. So moving on to my law school dashboard. Here I have a link to go back home, which this is just a picture that I inserted an image block. And then underneath is a link to my homepage. So if I click that, it will take me back to where we just were. Then I have a page for my 3L, all of my courses a to-do page, which I really haven't used because I use the to-dos on my homepage, but I needed something to make it even. My final study plan page, some goals, and then a page for the bar exam. And then down here, I have a weekly overview of all my upcoming assignments. I set it up where I do have the dates for this. So if I did hit the calendar view I believe it would come up so you can add views so I'm going to add a calendar view right now so this may or may not work oh here we go so yeah if you wanted it viewed as a calendar you can see today I had all of these assignments due tomorrow these are the assignments that I have due and so on and so forth but I'm going to change it back to the board oh no not the board view which if you wanted to look like that which is what my time blocking table looked like. I'm going to change it back to table view. Yep, because I like that better. And then I have, you can sort and filter. So right now I have a, a, I have it sorted ascending from the due date. So the next one, the next um, thing due is going to be at the top. And then I have it filtered by complete where it's completed and it's checked off so 
then once I check something off, it will disappear because I did it and I don't need to see it anymore on the upcoming assignments. So then we are gonna go into my 3L page. Here I have, again, you can see my upcoming assignments for the week because I need constant reminders to keep myself accountable. I have reminders here on the right. So I need to find a photographer of my grad picks and submit my concentration worksheet. Up here on the right, I have this little widget that has a countdown to my last final and when I'm officially a law school graduate. And those, so the widgets, I actually got them from a website, which I will link below. It's kind of cool because you can't get it from Notion itself. You have to backslash. So say you backslash here and you would go to embed because you could basically embed anything that is embeddable like a YouTube video or Spotify like I said so this website makes the embed code that you need to put in the countdown so that was cool and then another thing that the website had was the focus keeper Pomodoro method widget which I thought was really cool so this I could use if I wanted to but I also have the focus keeper app on my iPad so you know it's not like necessary but it, i thought it was cool to have oh another thing that i have here in the middle are all of my courses in folders so when we can go into uh, let's go into conflict of laws because i just had that class so i have just the class name i have all my classes here so i add them as tags and the schedule i put in my zoom link which makes it really easy because everything i don't have to log on to any of my portals i could just find the link right there so that's nice with the password and then underneath i just have all of my assignments that are coming up for basically the rest of the month i don't have all of them here yet i'm still working on getting them in because it is time consuming setting up this whole thing and i've only done the next two weeks and I haven't even done all of my classes so this isn't everything but it's a start and then I have my syllabus linked on the bottom here which I thought was a cool thing too because just to have everything linked in one spot is really efficient so that's it for my main 3L hub here we can go back to the law school dashboard which I will go in and show you my bar exam page so right now I just have my timeline, which the registration is coming soon. So I have that here with the status upcoming. The Barbary course begins on the first and then the actual bar exam. And I'm going to add in all the stuff once I like dive in deeper to what I'm actually doing with Barbary and look at the course schedule and I'll copy it and put it into here. And then I also have the topics for the bar exam. I haven't finished editing this section either. So this is kind of incomplete. So that's my Notion setup. I like to try new planning and productivity apps. And I like also using my paper planners. I'm not going to stop using my planners because I enjoy planning out my week. And I like using my stickers and my washi tape and all of that. But I do think that... Just in the end, Notion makes the studying process and going through online school more fun, if it could be fun. <laughs> I did really enjoy setting up all of my pages and adding in different pictures. And now I'm even more organized, which is really, really good. And I need to be that way for the bar exam. So this is kind of setting myself up for success and yeah so i hope you enjoyed this video if you haven't subscribed make sure you hit subscribe because lots of vlogs and good content are coming your way and i have class right now so i gotta go bye guys yeah.